Hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Continuing our storyline here. We're going to talk to the Revwin. Rev Webwin? Yeah, the Webwin. The Reverend. Reverend? You okay, so Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes, very challenging. You don't seem yourself somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm in Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion and then we disappear we need more commotion one score and one whole hell of a lot of noise we ain't so good at doing scores anymore dutch are you feeling all right arthur sure fine Pardon me for interrupting i brought a friend arthur hello hello dutch this is eagle flies his father is a great chief Charles and I, we, um, pretended to be mercenaries. Did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn, how do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father has confused wisdom with weakness. His people, my people, we've suffered too much, been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. You men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know I told your father I will not fight over some horses. But I made no such promise. Come along. Yeah. What the hell does? We must go with them to try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. Oh, Lord. We can get the more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping them up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after us without adding army to the list. Yeah, no kidding. Thank you really you want the cavalry? Come on. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Yeah. Of course. What will be, will be. What anyway, will be, will son, be. tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take the pleasure of persecuting us. All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The old are weak and sick, but they deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Oh, man. Well, I think we have a long ride ahead of us, because that's that fort is way north. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you, noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise and faith. I still don't know what that means. Stop questioning and think. Just think for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? 
Some good, honest conflict between the army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with them? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can slip away. Like I said, we just need that noise and one more score. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside Shady Bell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. Well, I don't. Sorry. I'm the first one to say, oh my God, Dutch. Are you, you wanting to go this way, I guess? <laughs> all right, buddy. You're all right. There's Peter. You all right, boy. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Come on, let's go. It's got bad idea written all over. I know I say that every time we go on an expedition like this, but I mean, come on. Dutch is just going nuts. He really thinks New York City is the answer here. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. And when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be ashore before anybody even knows what happened. Is that what we're gonna do here? Okay. Watching my stamina. Remember, Good luck. Arthur's sick. Our guards. I'm leading this expedition, it looks like. We're taking them down left and right. Man. Horses on here. You okay back there? I think you got them, finally. Waiting on help on this one. We're gonna do this. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna whistle into the stables. What the hell? Jeb, we got a problem here. That's what I need to do. Whistle him away. Right over here, buddy. I found a body! Shit. We have attackers on board. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's how you wanna do it! That's how you wanna do it! Come on, we need help. Really? I'll get him. Don't worry about that. There we go. Go find out about those horses down below. Down below? Okay. Okay, I got the anchor. At least the anchor. Plant dynamite. Jesus. Is that what we're gonna do? I guess so. You think I have the first idea how this anchor works? Yeah, no kidding. Just blow it up then. Hurry. Yeah, so simple. Come on, Arthur. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 banana phone. There we go. You're all right, horsies. Well, maybe not. You seem to be going pretty fast, Dutch. I'm trying. We're headed to those rocks. Oh, this is not going to be good. Dumbass. What is wrong with 
hurts you! The boys all right back there? Yeah, I think so. But there's a huge hole in the boat. Horses are spooked, and we're taking on water. The boys, get him out of here! Well, whatever else is wrong with you, you're quite the best pilot I've ever come across. <laughs> the horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Get your mountain lions, three horses. I'll go get this apple okay. over here. Come here, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. I know you're confused. Over here. Come on. Let's swim them to shore. Wow, look at this, the swimming. That is the fort, I guess, to the right of us. Yeah, that's a whole lot of mess over there. Lighthouse. Of course, this didn't go to plan. Never does. Poor horses just has no stamina. Come on, buddy. You're almost there. You can do it. There you go. Don't buck me. Don't you buck me. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Woo. Here's our horses. We're okay. There you go. Get on out of here. Well... Seems like Uncle Sam likes you fellas even less than he likes us. So it goes. My father doesn't want to fight again. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? No. Well, Arthur will... Oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we going to wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Cone. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out of Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Yeah. Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. You head on back to camp, check on the others, touch his behavior. It's bad. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Dutch is just... He's a lunatic, man. Ooh, we got a gold on this? No way. Knock out two soldiers on the boat, round up the horses, and reach shore within one minute and 30 seconds. Look at that. We're not so shite after all. Okay, rain squalls. Can't be very, very far from here, actually. Gotta be pretty close. And... Yeah, so much for that. Way, way up there. We got Sadie. And then we've got... Who's this one? John Marston. Dutch told you and John to blow the bridge using explosives. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. I'm going to ride through the night. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm probably going to post up camp where I can. And uh, yeah. I'm going to eat some food and stuff. Take care of Arthur. Oh, and our horse. Jesus, that's some rough terrain. Right here is good. Okay. Uh, and then we'll uh, sleep and we'll get a, a good start in the morning. All right, so I couldn't set up camp. I tried. There's just too many bounties and stuff nearby. It wouldn't let me do it. So I decided to just go ahead and ride through the night. Well, John's right over here, so. Oh, it's having us go down below, that's why. I thought that's where I wanted to go. John's right here. Here he is. Oh, why are you leaving Chester on the tracks? No. No. I won't let me get back on him. All right, well, I want to get our weapons back. I want my, that rare is actually really cool. I do like that. 
Um, and then let's see what else we got here. Uh, I'll do my Lancaster repeater. I love that thing. Oh, I have two good ones. All right, it's the Marston. Arthur, how you doing? Nervous, but I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. <laughs> Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. Hey, Stider. Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. Hey, it would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Help me with the rest of this. Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. <laughs> Let's ride this thing All right, hold down X as Arthur pushes the bar down, at least as he raises it. Way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. Not releasing it in time will cause you to lose speed. Okay. Sure. Let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. Pretty outrageous. Gonna blow this bridge up right here. All right, stop. Yep, right here. Here's good. <sighs> We sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. First time I'll crate. climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. This is insanity. Right. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. Okay. That's good. Lower it down. I'm going to hold on. I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly Back okay, and forth. good. Grab the other one. You can drop it right on top of John. That wouldn't be good. Can we just like take in the sights. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. Waterfall over there. Very nice one too. Okay. The back and forth again here. Just like last time. Come on. Nice and easy. There you go. Got it. All right, come down here and help me plant this stuff. You got it. I will. On my way. Okay. Grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Put one here. Damn. It's going to be pretty epic when it explodes. I 
love how it, like it actually is removing it from the pillars like there's n nothing like pops in in this game which is really cool small details like that probably should be a little more in a hurry okay i should go get the hand cart ready you okay to finish off down here yeah sure. i got it go on i can handle the rest i'll see you up there the this last better one. work this better work and i'm kidding you're not me for all all for not come on probably all know all the way down the end yep okay need to get this finished soon arthur i'm in a hurry i know I'm not dilly dally in here oh. Put it on in there. There we go. Shit. I think I hear something coming, Arthur. Uh, of course. I'm coming. We're gonna have to hand car away. It's a train. Train! Arthur, get up here quick! Shit! Come on. We're returning to the hand car. I'm trying, man. Arthur! I hear ya. I hear ya. Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Oh my god, we're never gonna get done. Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Get ready to jump! Oh, they're hitting the brakes. They it's see us. Could have been bad. Oh, thank you. No problem. That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Can't wait. That would have been a big mess. We would have blown that thing up when we had the uh, train on the bridge. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. Yep. Let's do it. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh, that did it. Well, I guess old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that caused. You know all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. That's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. Don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. Oh, damn. No kidding. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. 
But it weren't us who changed. Yeah. No kidding. Arthur's not doing so well. I can't move him or anything. There you go, bud. All right. Oh, really? Only a silver? I had the dynamite within one. Oh, that's because I was walking and talking. Can't do it. Chester, there you go, bud. You know, I'm uh, not doing so well, so you have to walk to me a little bit more often now. Wow. So, it looks like Arthur and John both are questioning Dutch. They have every reason to. All right, so Rain Flies is up here. We're going to probably go do that since we're here instead of riding all the way back to San Denis. So, we we'll take care of this, and then we'll go to San Denis. Well, PT and the Grizzlies. Look at this. This is awesome. Some TPs here. This is where Rainflies is located. Is this the one Evil Flies trust? The man from the outside? Yep, it's me. Alright, I'm gonna just go ahead and put Chester right here. Yeah, right, buddy. And I think that TP over there is Rain Flies. This is cool, though. I've never been up here, uh, this section of the map. There's a lot of, like, brown boulders and stuff around. Really neat stuff. Yeah, this is TP right here. Hello. Hello. Come in. Don't sound very well. I'm not. I'm, I think I'm dying. Then I hope you find peace. I don't know too much about peace. Apparently not. Did you have fun with my son, the impetuous prince? I believe you went on a raid with him. Um, I'm sorry. I suppose I lack the grandeur of a conventional king. I don't know too many kings. Colonel Favors. He has already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid. Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm, I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right, but for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Well, your friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> and maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! Hmm. I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. 
It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. They're gonna push him out, aren't they? Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. Ooh. A place for reflection and healing. Well, I'm down ah. for that. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Yeah, we can do it. Oh, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. You got it. Yeah. It helps these guys out for sure. They're getting absolutely screwed over. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure. Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. See? What's left of that bridge over there? I heard about it being destroyed. Do you know? If that was also my son's doing? No, I'm pretty sure he had nothing to do with that one. <laughs> well, I fear they will find a way to blame it on us anyway. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? and beauty are both all around us. Damn. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Good. Well, my horse did not no like them. To harm them. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. This is amazing. Shot of him. I'm gonna stay on my horse just in case, you know. This is what I was looking for. Something bad happens. English mace. English mace. Okay. Let's continue on. You were saying before you rode off? But he's been unraveling for some time now and I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos, We'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Things that bad on the reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, 
and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Well, we ain't done much to... Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. Some we can talk ginseng. more about this later. All right. Man, look at that. As far as you can see. This will combine well. I think he's uh, making us some medicine, teaching us how to make it. It's going to be nice to have. Wait there. I'll put these in your saddlebag. Oh, thank you. Mix these together. It tastes awful, but it'll help to keep your strength up. Okay. All right, let's go. It's not much further now. Anyway, what you were talking about? Well, we ain't done much to calm the situation. But I have to continue to seek to resolve matters through peaceful negotiation. War would be futile. Your people are lucky to have you. I'm not so sure about that. I appreciate the herbs, but I think it's going to take more than that. I saw a doctor and he says I'm in a pretty bad way. I'm sorry to hear that. This situation we're in, me, the Dutch, and the others, I don't know how long I got, but some of them, they still got a chance to have a life. I just think it, if I could give them that, then maybe this ain't all for nothing. I think there is much you can still do, Mr. Morgan. All right, let's see what we can do here. fortify it for now until I can craft and make the uh at a campsite I can make that tonic I need or that uh not tonic but that medicine and now I'm just gonna take some tonic because he's not doing so hot this is absolutely gorgeous though I mean look at this the rocks Hello, little guy a little badger Looks like one. Ah. He said, ah, this is where you want it to be? Up on that bridge up there? Hold. Probably. It's just up ahead. Okay. No. Oh it no. No. They destroyed everything. No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who? Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, Lord. please. Yeah, I'm looking. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. I see no end to any of this. Hmm. It's dull. I cannot believe this. Who would do such a thing? Absolute jackasses. I'll go look over here.
He said he found something up here. An empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, they couldn't have gotten too far. Yeah, well, still no sign of the Chinupa. Hmm. It's ruined. see smoke Where at? oh yeah there they are down there do you have any binoculars yes I do oh there they are these brave men some of Colonel Favors men they must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got really land not. they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. No, they've taken the last hope. No, my people are going to want a war. A war they can't win. Not if I get it back. Get it back? Yeah, I'm gonna go in, get your chin up, and no one will be any the wiser. <laughs> Arthur. Well, you can't go. They know why you'd come. I, uh... Don't have any money. Nah, I don't need your money. Nope. Don't need your money. Get to the camp. Please see if they have our sacred items. But try not to hurt anyone. Yeah, I'll try. Hey, boy. Are you not going down there? All right, we're going to sneak in around the back. It looks like that'll be the best idea. Keep on riding. We'll go around. Hey, I heard something. You heard nothing. Don't you pay any mind to it. Go out back and then we're going to sneak in this way. Chester right here. We're gonna get down. And we're gonna try to find the Chinupa. What's got this horse food, huh? Guess it was There's a guy coming towards me right here. He doesn't see anything, so we're on top of him. Damn it, he shot his gun off. You son of a bitch. Well, doesn't seem to matter. And he shot my hat off, or my hat fell. You know what? Screw it. I'll wear this one. <laughs> There you go. Like a ranger now. Okay. Sneak around this way. We'll see if we can find the Chalupa. I know, Chinupa.
It's gonna be in a tent, I have a feeling. I'll perhaps pick this guy out around the corner. Inside there. Okay. That guy's sleeping. The other one is over there. Just hanging out. I'm going after this dude. Search Nupa himself. Gonna be quiet. There you go. There you go. Okay. Mm, my hat fell off again. Uh, I'm gonna move the body. I don't want them finding bodies. It doesn't seem like they're moving around very much, but still. the way I wanted to do it. Right, they don't seem to be moving around much, so that's a good thing. I'm going to search these tents for the Chinupa. Take that. I'll take that off your hands, no problem. Around right this way. We'll probably check that. Explosives here. Check the covered wagon. Oh, there's a guy over here. Maybe we won't check the covered wagon just yet. Let him do his thing. I can take this guy out. I'm gonna have to do it. There's the Chinupa. Oh, that was very strange. What did you get? That is what you get. Oh, he's gonna knife him. Yep, he dead. That's what you get for screwing over the Indians, my friends. Yeah, I'm gonna get this Chinupa. Right here. We got it. I know uh, he didn't want us to hurt anybody, but screw him. No survivors. Well, except for that one guy over there. I'm not worried about him. Kind of an idiot. Oh, he's right down here now. You know what? Tomahawk his ass. What do you do? What's that? Really? Oh. Thumbs over here. Yeah, screw you, dude. Goodbye. I didn't want to have to do it. I was trying to tomahawk him, but the tomahawks don't go far at all. That was hilarious. Yeah, loot him. All right, Chester, let's get the hell out of here. What? I was going to leave that guy alone, but he came down here to inspect things. He had it coming to him. All right, we made it back up here. We got your Chinupa and everything else he needed. Please tell me you found it. I did. Here, I, uh, I got your things, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, matter more. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe... I can call my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. 
You got it. Yeah, I mean, if I would have known where the Chinupa was, it was in the middle of the camp. Probably could have gotten around it, but mm, the first guy was just walking towards us, though. No matter what, we we're going to have to take somebody out. And we did. He's a man who, not so long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. I would love to help him. Or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Well, all right. That is going to do it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. What do we have left? We've got Sadie all the way down to Stand and knee. Um, But the other one is way up here. That one's Captain Monroe. That's Oh, he wants us to help him, so... We're going to do the one down at San Denis next. I'm sure that's going to be the main storyline. And we are wanted there, so we're going to have to slip in and out as fast as we can. Or pay it off, one of the two. I might pay it off. Well, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.